Hi, I'm Jeffrey, I'm a licensed therapist, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll go over dopamine. First, I'm gonna go over what dopamine is. Second, I'm gonna share how dopamine is released in your brain. Third, I will talk about the positive aspects of dopamine and also the dangers of dopamine. Lastly, I will explain healthy ways to use dopamine to your advantage. Let's get into it. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is created in your brain. It's also known as the reward center of the brain. Dopamine is considered to be one of your happy chemicals alongside serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins. This is because when dopamine is released in your brain, you feel happy. So you may ask, how is dopamine released in your brain? Dopamine is released in your brain when you're close to achieving a reward or a goal, or when you actually achieve such reward or goal. The higher or more meaningful the reward or goal, the more dopamine that will be released in your brain. There are many ways to release dopamine in your brain. Here are some examples. Graduating from college, getting your YouTube channel monetized, eating a dessert, when you finish cleaning your house, buying yourself an item from your favorite store, and many more. Obviously, there are healthy and unhealthy ways to release dopamine in your brain. This leads me to address the positive aspects, but also the dangers that come with dopamine. Here are the positive aspects. Dopamine can drive motivation. By this, I mean that dopamine can help you set and achieve meaningful goals. Many of the world's greatest inventions were probably driven by dopamine. The person that invented the great product or service, they probably wanted to feel the happiness that came from achieving a meaningful goal. When used correctly, dopamine can drive us to pursue meaningful goals and rewards. Dopamine also helps you experience pleasure. When you get something you really want or have an experience that you really desire, your brain will release dopamine. So dopamine helps you experience joy in life. However, there are two main dangers when it comes to dopamine. The first danger is that we become desensitized. What does this mean? Well, when we achieve a goal or a reward, our brain will release dopamine. But the next time that we achieve the same goal or reward, our brain will release less and less dopamine. Let me explain this by giving two examples. Perhaps you used to chew one piece of gum and you enjoyed the taste of gum. And then you tried two pieces of gum. Now, one piece of gum does not feel rewarding enough and chewing two pieces of gum will release the same amount of dopamine than when you used to chew only one piece of gum. The other example would be money. Let's say that you get a raise at your job and you're feeling happy and excited and then you get your first paycheck after your raise and you are just absolutely delighted. However, a few months go by and you continue receiving the additional money in each paycheck but you're no longer as excited. Why? Because less dopamine is being released in your brain. Essentially, your brain learned to adapt to this new reality. The second danger of dopamine is your brain releasing dopamine during unhealthy habits. Let me give you some examples. These unhealthy habits can include overeating, overspending, smoking, drinking, gambling. This can create an unhealthy habit that is very difficult to break because your brain associates the unhealthy habit with pleasure. Lastly, you don't want dopamine being released all the time. This would actually deplete your dopamine neurotransmitters, which will result in you having less joy and pleasure in the long run. With all of this being said, how can you 
use dopamine to your advantage. My suggestion is to periodically schedule dopamine boosts. What I mean is take time to plan pleasurable experiences and activities. Not too frequently, but not too far in the future either. There's a right balance. Also, you can take advantage of dopamine by learning how to set meaningful long and short-term goals. Hopefully, striving to achieve these short and long-term goals help you make a positive difference in the world. Some examples of the above include planning a vacation once a year, making a fun purchase once a month, reading a chapter from an interesting book once a day, splurging on your favorite food once every other week, having something to look forward to in the future without overindulging in the present will help teach your brain that dopamine will be released in the future, which will help your brain push through challenging times in the present. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.